Okay, this one's tricky as well. We're into some pretty rigorous things. The figure below shows the graph of the differentiable function f. Stop right there. Write the letter f. Good to know. Okay. And the line tangent to the graph of f at the point negative 1, 1, which to me looks like it has a slope of 2. Rise 2 over 1, or actually rise 1 over a half. Same thing. So there you go. The slope of this line is 2. I'm not going to write that. I will if I need to. <laughs> a little foreshadowing. You might not need it. Um, sometimes they give you too much stuff, but I'm saying too much. Let g be this function. g is defined as the area from negative 2 to some x value of f of t. This is the graph of f. Let h be the function with the first derivative given by that. Already feeling overwhelmed. g, f, h. I got a graph. I got a tangent line. I have a derivative, and I don't know. Let's keep reading. If the line tangent to the graph of h at x equals a, stop right there. A line that is tangent to a graph of h is its slope. I need the derivative of h. I have it. They told it to me. I need the derivative of h at some specific x value. They call it a. I'm going to go ahead and put an a in there which means we'll have e to the sine a over a and then minus three. e to the sine a all over a and then subtract three, okay? Haven't even finished reading the last sentence. If the line tangent to the graph of h at this is parallel to the line, ta oh, parallel lines have the same slope. The line tangent to a graph has a slope in this case, it's parallel to the line tangent to the graph of g at x equals 1. Okay, if I have a line tangent to a graph, then I'm dealing with the slope of that graph. Oh, i got a tangent line right here. Yeah, you do. It's tangent to f. It's not tangent to h. It's not tangent to g. Why did they give me all this? We'll find out in a minute. Let's keep going. So what I want to do is keep reading. The line, to the, the line tangent to the graph of h at x equals a, this is the slope of that line, is parallel to the line tangent to the graph of g. Oh, that would be g prime at negative 1. Then find a, solve for a. Okay, I need to find out what g prime of negative 1 is. So let's come over here and do a little work in just whatever space we have. So I know that g is the integral from negative 2 to x of f of t dt. Uh, let's just squeeze it in up here. I need the derivative. So g prime of x is, oh, well, derivative of an integral. Oops, g prime is f. Okay, fantastic. Which really means that I need, oops, that should not say equals. It should just be an arrow because it's not equal to anything specifically. It's just a, a line of thinking. Just a stream of consciousness. Sometimes I go horizontally with that. Sometimes I go down. Sometimes I go horizontally. I need g prime of negative 1, and that is equal to, well, f of negative 1. So I'm going to find f of negative 1, and I'm going to go to that point, and that point is 1. Notice the scale. It's 1. But the slope of it, no, 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 no. I don't need this. Don't need it. They told me too much. I don't need that. I need f of negative 1. It's 1. I knew that from that. They could have left that line off. So here's what I'm doing. I'm solving this equation right here. e to the sine a over a minus 3 equals 1. And we're just going to solve it. That's it. And you can just type it in the way it is. I'm going to do just a little finagling because I feel like it. I'm going to say, add 3, it becomes a 4, multiply by a. So we have 4a here, and we're going to have e to the sine a here, and we're going to graph them. We're going to graph them both, see where they cross. This is definitely a calculator active question. We are indeed in radians, just good to know. So uh, y equals, let's clear out the other stuff. And we're going to have e to the sine x, again, going back to x. For our work, we're technically dealing with a, but for our graph, we'll deal with x. So e to the sine x and then for x, and we want to see where they meet, and they meet at, 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 where, where they meet, where they meet? There, it's between zero and one, it's the x value there. Second calc, 
Let's find a point of intersection. First curve, enter. Second curve, enter. Guess? No, you guess. 0 